ತೃಣಮೂಲ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ duty to dispel a dangerous delusion that this government suffers from there is a delusion that everything is well and in this self delusion the government of the day is going to cause irreparable harm to india i'll just state a few international statistics press freedom index we have come down to 150 from 80 environmental performance we have come down by we have fallen by 55 points we are now the fourth worst country in the world established and no contest global hunger index has been contested but i'll still quote it that we are of the worst in the world one of the worst global gender index we have reached a stage below bangladesh on health care and many other precedents but i'll not take more time on this this is only a backgrounder of how where we stand so that we don't suffer from dangerous delusion 5% of the Indians own more than 60%. I am repeating this Oxfam read more only to hammer down the point that this wealth could not have been taken out from the poor to enrich a particular small group without a collusive legal and economic regime. So you know it, I know it, that willingly or unwillingly we have colluded to enrich a small group and this inequality will be a dangerous harm. Honorable member... Sir. Your reflection is limited to your knowledge. Sir. To the extent what I know, uh. the moment I reflect, you will say I am responding to the debate. Sir, I... I have been away all over in the world mm. twice and failed something, which Take you will a... share outside the house. Take me with you next time. Uh. So, so I do not share your perception uh. at the moment. Uh. You said we both agree. No. Okay, sir. Please go ahead. Please conclude. Sir. The humble suggestion that I make, Oxfam has come up with a wealth tax suggestion. He, the dangerous amount of concentration of wealth where 102 billionaires have now turned out to be 142 needs to be contributing more to the national economy. It was a higher percentage, 3.4% of the GDP, which has now come down to 2.4%. Now, what I'm saying is that while I take cognizance of the Oxfam report a recommendation, I would submit that we feel wealth tax is regressive. We feel wealth tax is regressive. Uh, we submit for a tax on securitization. All the share value and market capitalization is utilized by everyone, not Adani only. Everyone to gain loans. That is an act of securitization. A top skimming can, be, and then can, can surely be made on that. We are pleading for a securitization tax that would go above a level and hit only only a certain class yes, not the middle class thank, thank you so, so this one sir i come now to the budget the fiscal deficit is still dangerously high the government has reduced it it's a fact but we have come back to come to 6.4 we are aiming for 5.9 god bless we may achieve 5.9 but it's nowhere near the ideal of three percent we have to find ways and measures and one of the measures that I would suggest is that our tax to GDP ratio is one of the worst in the world in, in, in a country of our consequence it's one of the worst in the sense that the, while the West has a tax to GDP ratio of as high as 40 percent the capitalist countries have 40 percent tax to GDP ratio India has increased from 10.3 to 11.7 so which will not give any government, not this government, any government will not have resources to fulfill commitment. This needs a serious thought. This needs a serious ex ex uh, examination by all. Now, 40% of the budget is going for, is, consists of borrowing. This is dangerous. This is, I mean, all governments have done it, but I would still submit that this is dangerous. 40% of whatever taxes, tax revenue, goes for interest repayment, 46%. Most nations have a ratio of 8 to 12%, and we are there at such a high level of repayment. 
India has, <coughs> India has now 24% of its budget going into repayment. Fiscal deficit is nothing but a debt burden. Fiscal deficit will only improve, only make the situation worse. And, but added to the fiscal deficit, the root problem of it all, sir, is a current account deficit. $100 billion is our deficit with China. And all the Indians who said repatriation constitute that $100 billion. Where will we get the resources from? Another point is that this government has stressed on capital expenditure. Two comments only. This capital expenditure of 10 lakh crore by the government indicates a complete failure of the private sector to invest. The private sector has not invested and no measures have been taken. Please we have exempted the 3.5 lakh by way of corporate tax, but we have not been able to bring in animal spirits in there. Please conclude. The second part, sir, I would submit is that Capital assets has a dangerous link yes. with corruption, contracts and corruption. Yes. It leads to a contractocracy. I fear that. I fear that. We have cut down corporate taxes so severely from 30% to 22%, and my projected loss is 3.5 lakh crores foregone. The, the, uh, re, uh, we have mentioned of the tax to GDP. Sir, we call ourselves Vishwaguru. I take pride also when I see terms like Vishwa Guru. I also take pride. I'm an Indian and very much a part of the governance. But when we look at reality, away from the clapping and self-adulation, we will see that India has a population of 17.7% and our contribution to the world economy is 1.42. 1.42. How can 1.42 yes. of the world economy ever through. claim? So we need introspection. We need introspection here. Yeah. We need to find, find out the reality. Finally, so, finally. Sir, 17.7% 17 contributing to just 1.42%. Be per capita income. We can go by G the entire GDP's comparisons from very di different angles, but there's still... Honorable member, no. please conclude. Sir, I have six, 15 minutes. I have you idea, please. 15 minutes. Aap ke par. And you are, you are, you sir, are making just, your points very impactfully. Sir, just a few sharp points. Yes. Sir, I made a calculation. We submitted it on the press, on the media, and I have sent a copy to the finance minister, to the MOS finance, to verify the figures that I am mentioning now in the house as a matter of record. Thank you. In the last eight years, the total NPA has been 65.5 lakh crores. 65.5 lakh, correct me if I'm wrong. Number two, after all deductions, the write-off on the NPA has turned out to be 14.5 lakh crores. 14.5 lakh crores, even if you go in for recoveries after NPA, which happens at 13%, 14%, I am deducting 20%. Yes. There is no explanation for 12 lakh crores in eight years. It has never happened in Thank Indian you. history. Thank you, Mr. Jawad Sarkar. Crore, Thank you. No, Bara lakh crore, we need to find out where it went because it went to people who were not punished. Thank you, people sir. People have Thank got you. out with immunity. Shri... Uh, sir, on, on food, sir, one word on food only. On food, I, I would submit that, that while the government has got into this system of providing free food, and I don't think any government can take it away. But this left-handed compliment that it has paid this year is a reduction of from 2.8 lakh crores to 1.9 lakh crores. That means almost 1 lakh crores saved by the government. So what does saved by the government mean? It means a poor who don't get free food will now have to go to the market and buy it. Thank you. Three rupees, three rupees, three rupees. This is, a, this is an infliction on the people. Thank you. We have also mentioned Narega, health. Health, we are just 86,000 crores. Sir, can a respectable Vishaguru nation Th do thank 86,000 crores? Education, sir. Again, a disaster of 1.12. Now the education ministry is making up figures. Every time you ask them, they give me two figures. One is, we spend one lakh crore from the central government, I mean, from the education ministry. And the central government spends 2.3. Thank you, thank you. Where does 1.3 come from? Shri P. Sir, 